Thumbs up from our FTA. Teams behind the lines. Let's kick this match off in three, two, one, go. 69-56 immediately getting three power cells into the upper goal and getting one, two more. And Super Duper nails five into the outer goal at the end of Auton. Eight twenty nine immediately going to load power cells into their shooter. Well, seventeen twenty goes to the loading dock. Sips under the control panel through the trench to get set up for a shot. But thirty five fifty nine is playing some tough defense on both them and sixty nine fifty six. Super duper shoots five into the outer port. Well, eight twenty nine gets their shooter ready. Fifty-one eighty-eight nailing a few down in the in lower port, and then works their way back over to collect some more power cells. While Super Duper collects the power cells in their trench and tries to get set up for a shot. Seventeen twenty trying to get a shot off while playing defense. Thirty-five fifty-nine, but they manage to get all five power cells into the outer port. Super Duper coming over to their loading zone to load up power cells. Super Duper getting another five power cells into their outer port. 1720 manages to get a shot off into their outer port despite defense from 3559. Meanwhile, 7457 continues loading more power cells into their robot and works their way back over. 829 getting ready to shoot from the end of their trench. And they manage to get one into the outer port. 1720 working on loading power cells from their loading zone. To and 7457 manages to get another five in. 3559 already working on getting their climber on there while 829 tries to help. 1720 also getting up to get their climber set up. 7457 taking that middle spot on the blue rung. And 3559 is in the air followed by 829 and 7457. 1720 getting up there. And we are ready to see the results of qualification match 63. The winner is the Blue Alliance. Looks like that triple climb helped them win 90 points in endgame. Moving 74-57 up to that number two slot.